Hi everybody, it's Kaylee from your OT class and today I'm going to talk to you about a toy that I adapted. So what we have here is, some of you may remember this from the Visual Perceptual Lab, it's called Animal Cubes and the goal of this is to match the, up an animal, so here we have the dog, and if you're successful you'll get to hear their noise. So this toy consists of Two parts, the goal is to connect two aspects of the same animal to produce that sound. Visual, perceptual, and cognitive skills are prerequisites to using this toy. A child must have intact visual discrimination to recognize the differences between the animals. And then they must have that image in their visual memory and then they'll have to know what the target animal looks like, flip the toy around, manipulate it, and then find it. So basic understanding of visual and spatial relationships is needed to use this toy. So what I have done here is I have covered up different animals and um, to kind of grade the challenge. So I've used paneling to eliminate some choices. So the animal cubes were easily adapted to accommodate a child with a visual processing disorder, a cognitive impairment, or a developmental delay. By covering up certain animals, we can eliminate their options, and this form of grading promotes a visual search based on boundaries that provide the just right challenge. As the child becomes more successful with one animal, then we can remove panels and um, kind of make it more difficult. So that'll be a way so that we can increase the challenge. This toy is appropriate for young children ages 18 months and up. The adaptation would be especially useful for a child with a visual processing dysfunction, cognitive impairment, or de developmental delay. And um, the supplies that I used for this adaptation, all of them can be found at Walmart, Meyer, and it's pretty inexpensive. What I used is um, I got some of that foam paper and then I put Velcro dots on it and then I put the matching Velcro dot on the cube so you just easily cover it up like that and it's really durable and I don't think it would bother a child as they're flipping it around and my choice in the materials was based on long-term durability and the ease to continually modify so you can always cha be changing it if they're bored of looking for the dog then you can um, cover up the dog and then have the sheep side open I really like this toy because it engages visual motor integration and it's Therefore, it will um, improve visual perceptual skills. It also is one that the child has to manipulate and really flip things around to figure it out. And it is gratifying with the sound when you have a successful attempt. You get to hear, like for this one, you get to hear the dog. Well, I have it covered up here. There we go. And then some of the research that I found about this modification is um, I found one article by Coat, and she says that a complex visual task requires greater mental capacity than a simple one because more information must be kept in mind to do the task. So by eliminating some of the visual distractors, we can help the child to be more successful. And then I can also say that this um, adaptation is classified as a low-tech solution and it can be continually, continuously modified to meet the needs of the child as they grow. And then another article that I found um, explain, gave the federal definition of assistive technology and that definition is that assistive technology may include commercially available and also homemade devices that are specially designed to meet the idiosyncratic needs of a particular individual. So this definition of AT is used by the federal government, and I carried it out today with this toy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in class for the baby lab. Bye.